Andy's or Wave Moon is it's gonna be PZ against PZ, huh? So we got um TQ Ox, which is myself. That was Banana TQ that you just heard, and Primal One, who is streaming and casting as well. Well, well, well. We got TQ Andy. Top left. That's a Zerg. Pretty decent to me, too. And the bottom team. Say the. The blue team, which is Genji. And Kania? Yeah, I don't know how to say his name. Anywho. Also known as, yep, H4LM Legend. <laughs> so Andy's with Wiggly top right. I don't think they ever played together. What happened to Lady? Lady's not allying. He only had an hour, oh, and I was like, there's no way you're going to get uh, five matches in. All right. Unless you do all wins. Yep. And even those can turn into long games. <sighs> Genji open up with 12 hats. Andy opened up a 12 pool. I'm guessing it's a 12 pool hatch ramp for Andy. That's Genji. It's 12 hatch. Andy. So Banana's like the only guy who actually knows something about this game, especially 2v2s. Usually it's just me saying some bullshit and Jerry criticizing me for it. Yep. Woof. That's a good block right there. Deny, deny the second hatch. A little second. But uh, as soon as the second drone come out, he should be able to get it soon. Got it down. Did Andy pick his race? Yeah, I think Andy is a Zerg player. Because Wiggly plays Zerg, but I guess he picked Protoss because they didn't want to go DZ. Uh, yep. I think he's been picking uh, Protoss for the last couple of games. I didn't think ZZ was a bad combo. Like no, it's not. You have to, you have to play it right, and they really it's hard. Out. Yeah. Anything that's double is hard. ZZ is sort of like the best, the best two race, the best two same race that you can possibly get out of all three. Oh. So we got one Zella and one Propane. He's looking to snipe. Got him. I don't like this too much, but if he can if he can manage to get a couple of Pro, then it'll be good. But he only had one, so I don't think it was worth it. Now he's behind one Zellot for every fight between the Protoss. But one Zella is actually um it's actually a huge number. Big deal. Case. Both Zerk win there. There before speed. Andy is not getting speed. Ally, so be careful. And that's because he's going there, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the differences between twelve hatch and twelve pool. He had to um he had to skip speed first, whereas Genji actually got speed. At what point do you get speed after you get your lair and he put down his spire? Does he ever get it, or no? He saves it for like that extra meter. I, mean, I think the thing about Andy is he actually he actually sometimes does not get speed at all for some reason. I don't know why. I always get speed because I feel like it just gives you a better map presence. It's affordable, right? It's affordable, but Andy just like after you make the mutas, you would get speed. I would, I would. I think you had to get it regardless, so I'd rather get it from the beginning. But you know, he won twelve pool, so he had to get his lair. Yes, 
the other guy won 12 hatch. So he, he had a better economy. You know what I mean. Okay, the game sort of normalized a little bit. Wiggly went for Citadel. Both of them went for Citadel. Legend actually started his plus one, so they're heading that category. Is Andy and Jengi kind of like tied up a bit? Andy like actually, out of his fire finished already. His mute is probably halfway done. Jengi just finished his uh his fire. Like Jengi's got. More Genji got, yeah, Genji got more Ling, and he had he had a expansion coming up also. He's got no sunks. And no sunken, so he's basically a head and drone. That's why he that's why he afforded his uh, his expansion. Whereas Andy still hasn't gotten an expansion up yet. But all of this doesn't matter until his expansion actually starts kicking in, which is pretty soon. Genji will just go ahead big time. Uh, I think bottom team is ahead in this, in this case. Legend's supply count is kind of high. I think because he's made like a lot of probes, huh? Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have that many zealots compared to Wiggly. Wiggly got about 12. He has 10, so it's not that much less. It's not much less. Genji made a bunch of scorches. Is that smart? Yeah, it's actually pretty smart. It's pretty smart because he's um, he has an expansion. Okay, so it seems like Zerg, bottom Zerg is winning. He can't even run away because he doesn't have score first to kind of like. Yeah, I think the Zerg, top Zerg is, is pretty good. Oh, but Dengi's getting attacked huh, by Wiggly. Yeah, he's getting attacked by Wiggly. That's not doing too much, though. Got a Protoss because he came back. Ooh. And he got sandwiched. So he he could have attacked with those bottom Zellots. Like, when he lost the water. He had that battle. I think he could have killed all those Zellots and Zerkings. Yep. No, I don't yeah. think he had it. I don't think he had it, but he could have had a he could have had a better engagement for sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't think he could have had it. He but, was trying to move his bottoms a lot too much, and they took too many hits. You can tell that Wiggly is not a Protoss player. He's going four gate off one base, which is a never. The most you can go is three gate. The economy wouldn't support four. Sometimes it like surprises your opponent and overpowers them, but it's not like sustainable, I guess. Legend got his uh, expansion and got a lot of posts to transfer to. His economy is gonna pick up. Yep. Yeah, Legend is way ahead of that Protoss. Jerry, what do you think? Who's gonna win this? I think bottom team has this. Yeah, Legends Economy is. Uh, yeah, Protoss has his extension up, bottom team. Zerg, Zerg has his extension up, boss. Like, Wiggly's pumping out those units, man. I know it's not sustainable or whatever. 
I think he has to go now. He 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 has to expand and he has to attack because he cannot think... drag. He cannot drag this thing out any longer. I don't think any of the teams have combined to attack anybody, right? They just been kind of separately attacking. I guess he's waiting for his second Archon and go. You look at the supply differences between the Protoss. It's, it's, it says a lot. He got a Dark Archon. Alright, so Jengi has six, seven new decks. Does Andy have got four Scorch? He's got six new decks too. Have to cancel his expansion. He's making it again. Uh, Jengi's about to attack his expansion. Yeah, uh, so I think I think bottom team is way ahead in every category. Expansion wise, unit wise. Tech wise, I gotta turn ship tab on because Wiggly, you can't even see him on the map. Yep, chose the black color. He's, I mean, he has the potential. If they fuck up, they could maybe come back from this. But the Edge of Man, he also expands whenever he gets to here. Every time I play him, I know he's trying to get like, you know, another. Oh, he... That dark archon got a hailstorm on Jengi's Nidus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Legend is plus two. He's got storm archons, a lot of zealots. I just don't see them taking that on. Ooh. Huge battle. Legends got the upgrades though. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Zerg Protoss for Zerg and Random. Okay, good. Not much lag. So how refreshing is that, right? You don't see any green, no dirt, different map. Oh, I mean, this is a pretty like basic map, right? This banana's AFK too. Well, I don't think this map has any imbalances. But, I don't know. What do I know? So we got cross spawns here. Uh, top left is Jengi. With his partner, bottom right. Uh, I'm just going to call him Kane, or Legend, as he's known on US West. Protoss versus top right. <laughs> Uh, Wiggly, Zerg is his main race, and bottom left is Andy, and I guess Zerg is his main race too, but I think Andy can play, I mean they can all play all the different races, but I've, I've seen Andy play Terran as well. A little coordination between the teams right now. I think Andy is saying let's be a little bit more reactive. Check out what they're doing, get some intel, and then counter accordingly. K 
Chain is going to go scout Wiggly, who's uh, almost got his pull up, getting some gas. Same with Jengi. We have three Zergs in this game, I protest. Zerglings are busting out from Wiggly and Jengi and uh, Andy's base. You can see them all sort of uh, flurry onto the map. Andy's Zerglings are going to meet Jengi's. A little playful fight here. Andy lost one. Jengi is uh, microing those Zerglings well. Wiggly's gonna come and help Andy. There's Kane with the uh, Zelot. It seems like they're sort of meeting in the middle. Everybody's sending their units. Backing away. Andy's getting his lair up. Wiggly not yet. Um, Jengi put down a Sunken. And just put down another hatch. Kane has two gates. Just made an assimilator. And a little bit of uh, battling in the middle. It just ended. So Andy and Wiggly are headed to uh, Legends Base. I think the ramp on Circuit Breaker is a little wider than uh, the ramp on, maybe not, on Fighting Spirit. Maybe, th I, I think three Zelots would cover just like it does on uh, Fighting Spirit. I'm not, I don't think two would. Wiggly's now camping in front of Jengi's base with some Zerglings. Um... Oh, it seems like Andy was getting attacked by Jengi Zerglings. Andy put down a Spire. He's going back to his base to take care of that Zergling, which he can't really attack with his drone. Jengi is really just showing off sort of his micro skills in this game. Just left his base with three Zerglings. I'm not sure where they're headed. So, Kane is putting down a Stargate. Wiggly got his expansion up. He's putting down a Creep Colony to make a Sunken. Um, Jengi's got two hatcheries and an Evo making. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to break out of his uh, base there with Wiggly camped. Jengi got into Wiggly's base with a few Zerglings. I think he picked off one, maybe two drones. It looks like Jengi is just going Lynx with maybe plus one attack. Um, Andy's got Mutas coming out. So, I mean... They're going to have to get some anti-D. Jengi's making a spore. Uh, his ally Kane has got a Corsair out. And is attacking um, Wiggly's Overlord. Wiggly is just making a lair now. Jengi is attacking, uh, I'm sorry, Andy is attacking Jengi's overlord in the bottom. Um, two Corsairs are headed for the Mews that are attacking Jengi's overlord, but they're going to kill it before the Corsairs really do any damage. 
and there's some Scorch. I'm gonna try to get the Sayers, but I think they're gonna run away. There's a cannon where they can shield away from the meteor attack. I think Jengi is gonna try to break out here. Um, his lings aren't plus one yet. And he's going to do some new to harass there. He can't get too close to the base because there's two fours. Um, both Andy and Wiggly sort of managed to get expansions up. They got some drones mining, but they got to be very careful because uh, if Jengi and Legend break out, and I think they will soon, um, they're going to attack one of them. Uh, Legend Kane is not getting a plus one attack on his uh, Zealots. And he did upgrade his air attack plus one. He's got enough Scrooge and uh, Mutas to take care of these Corsairs. He's going to back away. Got one of his theirs. So Kane has five Corsairs, plus one air attack. He's got about nine Zealots headed out. It looks like they're going to try to break Jengi's uh, containment here by Wiggly. Wiggly is going to have to run away with his Zerglings pretty soon. Um, he's getting a Queen's Nest, Wiggly is. Okay, he's going to try to engage them. He lost quite a few Zerglings there. Um, Andy is coming with about six Mutas and a lot of Scorch. Wow, and he managed to pick off, I think, at least three or four Corsairs. Jengi is going to counter with Zerglings and attack Andy's base while Legend attacks Wiggly's uh, expansion. I think Wiggly can hold off if he doesn't lose those Zerglings. So the thing about Circuit Breakers is you have the ramp right below your main base, but you also have these sort of uh, Two bridges, I guess, that are uh, connecting your natural to the center of the map. And so it's possible to sort of try to hold attacks that way too. And he has seven mutas, two scourge, just kind of running around the map looking for Corsairs. Uh, Jengi is just pumping out Zerglings, and now he's got his Mutas coming out. So he did make a Spire at some point. And he's going to attack... Andy right now, at least his expansion. Um, Andy has a pretty good Sim City here, so I think... He took care of quite a few Zerglings, not all of the Zerglings. His last sunk is kind of low on HP though. Uh, Wiggly is going to try to counter, but I think Genji has, uh, Genji has enough Mitas and Sunkins to hold that off. I don't see any kind of attack being successful right now, even if the uh, allies sort of combine. We've got a DT that's headed to Andy's main base. Andy does have an Overlord there, but he needs some uh, units there to 
Take care of the DT. DT has killed one drone, two, three. Oh, this is disastrous. This is really bad for Andy. This is pretty much a game changer. So he just attacked his uh, creep colony, which alerts Andy to what's going on. Um, his expansion seems like it was getting attacked as well. So that's that's quite a bit for one player to try to defend against. Wiggly has a hive up, and I think that's game. He left. Andy has quite a few mutas, though. I'm not sure why uh, Wiggly left so early. And Andy just left. It's 2v2 show match series. This is our first event. We will have future 2v2 show matches with prizes for the winners. We'll stream and cast it. Hopefully, uh, my co-host Prima One will join me instead of being totally silent. And we'll also have one versus one show matches. Uh, featuring mostly US West players who are known and active. Um, and, you know, I, I like to involve TQ members as much as possible. So, okay, here we got The opponents are sort of like across from each other, right? They're parallel. Kane is a uh, Protoss. Jangi is Zerk. Uh, Andy has chosen Terran for the first time, and Wiggly is playing Zerk. Jen and Kane are up 2-0. Is this going to be their third win? Or is there going to be a loss? Wiggly just put down his hatch in front of the ramp. His pool is just finishing up. Kane just gassed him. Uh, Kane's getting his second gate up. Jengi is getting his Zerglings out. Got two drones mining gas. Intentionally, I'm guessing. Shout out to all the 2v2 players on US West. We're hoping to future you guys in our show match series. If I can uh, get some committed players to show up to the event. So Jengi is uh, just going to run into Andy's base with a bunch of Zerglings. He's going to take out that SDV. Uh, looks like he's going to kill that factory, and he really has nothing to defend against the Zergling push. And Wiggly is just staying in his base. But Wiggly has left the game. 